All people come to him, come to the way of Sultan Rabia, most honored one and most glorified one. التوكل على الله هو خير عمل يعمل به الإنسان. To say يا ربي I depend on you in all my matters is the best of making Allah happy with you. Because Allah wants his servant to show abudiyya, servanthood. Servanthood is a word that it's easy on the tongue, but it's very heavy in the scale. Because it symbolizes to say that Allah is the creator and human beings are his servants. All creation are his servants. Allah is the creator and Muhammad Rasulullah is Abd, his servant. So servanthood is important in our lives and servanthood is something not in a, in a, on a tongue is easy but on, in action is very difficult no one can claim that he is Abdullah in perfect way <coughs> except Sayyidina Muhammad where Allah has said in Holy Quran Subhanalladhi asra bi'abdihi laylan min al-masjid al-haram min al-masjid al-aqsa Praise be to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he is the one that brought his servant Abdullah Abduhu brought him brought Ay Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam min al-masjid al-haram from Mecca to Masjid al-Aqsa for Mi'raj. If he was not, because he is perfect, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as, as the creator invited his servant to come and to go all these paradises, pass through them, to reach Kaaba Kausaini Awadna because he was a sincere servant, he was the real servant reached that ascension that no one can reach but good servants as it is mentioned, Allah inna awliya Allahi la khawfun alayhim wa lahum ya'zanun alladhina amanu wa kanu yattakun Awliya Allah, they have not, not, not to be said or fear from anything. They can reach any way, anywhere Allah can bring them. But not like Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Kaaba Kawsayni Awadna is a maqam for Prophet, maqam al-Mahmud for Prophet. But with your servanthood, you can ascend certain level. You can ascend, ascend, ascend. And it differs between awliyaullah, their ascension from one wali to another, it differs. Not all of them are in the same levels, but in a, everyone in a different level 
they complete each other like a pyramid you have key points in the pyramid to carry the final stone on the top prophets are key points for the one who is on the top of the pyramid Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu <coughs> all of them are in need for him as Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala wants that's why Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said something for sure Allah gave him that maqam to say it to the Ummah Ana I am the master of the Ummah Wala Fakhr I am the head of the Ummah and no pride Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam as a servant never had pride to himself but he said al lillah first izza honor is for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then for his prophet wali rasulihi wali mu'minin so mu'mins if they are be pay careful and know where they are putting their feet they will reach different levels of ascension they will reach different level of abudiya of worshipness they reach different level of servanthood <coughs> so servanthood is what is important for us to be servant not to be happy <coughs> with names that does not belong to anyone titles that it doesn't increase you or decrease you that's why Sayyidina Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu wa arda he was Amir al-Mu'mineen when that man stabbed him to kill him with a sword that has been poisoned and he was in bed for some days he asked all the people who are around him not to be called anymore Amir al muminin but to be called Omar his name no title this is Khalifa to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam the second Khalifa <coughs> asking people don't give me title <coughs> when he when he was being appointed as Khalifa by acceptance of all Sahaba Sayyidina Usman, Sayyidina Ali and the others he came home crying some people on TV sometime they got a prize what they do they cry out of joy so Sayyidina Amr came to his house crying his wife immediately saying Ya Amr she understood that he is crying and Sayyidina Umar was tough strong personality he, even he doesn't smile to anything <coughs> and doesn't cry only he cried for Prophet وسلم, when Prophet passed away not only cried he said anyone say Prophet passed away I will kill him 
So he was crying, and his wife said, Ya Amr, how are you are crying? You have to be very happy. You are Amir al Mu'minin. Amir al Mu'minin is the head of the Muslim world. And he said, before I was Amir al-Mu'mineen, I was someone who would not be asked anything if he dies. I'm not responsible. But today, this moment, I became responsible for the whole Ummah. If someone in the jungle or in the desert is hungry or homeless or dying, Allah is going to ask me why you let that, that person down. He didn't want. He was crying because he felt the responsibility. It's not something easy. With Jalalat Qadri, with his greatness that Allah gave to him, dressed him with Jalal, majestic, beautiful name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he dressed him from that beautiful name. With all that, he was saying, don't call me Amir al mumini Finish. I'm, I'm leaving dunya. I don't want to be called except Omar. That is a servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he doesn't want anything from dunya except loves of Allah and love of Prophet. We must as servant to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not to run for a title. Title will lead us to a wrong way. Our ego plays with everyone in order to take them from the right side, from the right way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his prophet to, to the left, not to be on the right, but to be on the left. To be Abdullah is to let all your titles to be dropped except one title you keep is Abdullah. You don't need another title. All other titles are dunya titles. Title of Abdullah is Akhirah title. That's why all Muslims and Mu'mins around the world, Allah gave them seven names. One name on earth that your parents call you, will call you, and six heavenly names. One of them, Abdullah. For everyone. When Allah gives, doesn't take. When Allah gives, gives for akhirah, not for dunya. Although He gives you in dunya, but you must not be thinking that it is you achieved that. It's Allah that has given you that. So these six names, when he gave to us in heaven, when we were soul in his presence, in the day of promises, he dressed every mu'min and mu'mina. He dressed, if we can say, the children of Fatima to Zahra. Means the children, because she, her dowry, when Prophet Sallallahu wants her to marry Sayyidina Ali, Karamallahu Waja wa alayhi salam wa alayha salam wa ala nabiyyina afdalu salatu wa salam. He, 
she said, I'm not accepting. Unless, on one condition, that when you, are, when you were born, you are, you are, oh my father, you were always concerned about your ummah. In your life, you are concerned about your ummah to go to paradise. In death, you are concerned about your ummah. In grave, you are concerned about your ummah. In day of resurrection, you are concerned about your ummah. You want me to marry? My condition is I want your ummah as a dowry for me. In the day of judgment, it's my choice where I take them with me. That's why Grand Sheikh, may Allah bless his soul. He said in the day of judgment, a lot of intercessions will be covering the whole day of day of resurrection day of judgment all these rahmat rah, uh, rahma coming from every place all these mercies coming from every place on ummatul nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam addressing them because they are in the dowry of sayyida fatima al zahra So, when he dressed us on the six names, he is in heavens, Allah is dressing in every moment. Ummatul Nabi, that's why he said in the day of judgment they would be like stars. As, as Ummah, they will be like stars. And Mu'min, Muslim, like we, like, like stars, and Mu'min. It means the core of Muslims, the inner ones, also Allah make them like moons, like a moon shining. So Muslim knows these are the moments ones between us. We run to them. Oh Muslims, if Allah opens and allow His Prophet to say everything, Ummatul Nabi will be drowned with rewards that the rewards of from the ocean of oneness, dressing everyone to be a perfect muwahid. Muwahid, a perfect one who always dressed with kalima to tawheed, la ilaha illallah, Muhammadun Rasulullah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, because it is the key for paradise, la ilaha illallah, Muhammadun Rasulullah, read it every day as much as you can. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bless you and bless this ummah. And this is how you have to come to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as abd. No titles, PhD, doctors, engineers. Now everyone is, is doctor. Huh? Even plumber is doctor. Doctor plumbing. Dr. Carpenter, Dr. Captain, <laughs> everything doctor now, no doctor, DR, you are nothing. But if you drop these titles, yes, better to be nothing, because in day of judgment you'll be something. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala dress us from the mercy of Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, alameen, that Allah subhanahu wa taala make us servant, real servant, not fake servant. That's why Prophet said, 
I fear most for my ummah the hidden shirk. We are not saying that we are abd. We are saying we are doctors. Alama, Sheikh al Islam, Mufti, Grand Mufti, Grand Alama, Grand Mausua. Keep titles, many titles. You need Allah what He gave you of title, not what people gave you. ومن الله التوفيق بحرمة الفاتحة I am happy with these ladies there some of them coming from far and every week mashallah they are coming they are never uh, uh, missing a, a zikr session all the rest are coming from nearby some, some of them from far also Inshallah. One of one of these people who attend circles on Zikrullah makes the place paradise. One person is enough. <coughs> one person sitting and making zikr and another one sit with him and another one will sit with him, it's become a piece of paradise. A piece of paradise, what will happen to you? You are in paradise. You will be dressed from paradise. You will be given from paradise. You will be eating from paradise. You will be breathing from paradise. Your heart will be cleaned from paradise. Inshallah, all of us and Ummah Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam bi hurmat al-fatih. Uh, Abdul Rahman, come help, take Asadullah, open this, give half to the ladies, one top of the lady and one bottom.